Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on graph transformations. Uh, this is the second video on this topic and we'll just cover some quick example questions. Uh, the first of which is about translations. Uh, so let's jump into it. So we have let f of x equal x squared. Sketch on the same axes the graphs of f of x, f of x plus 4 and f of x plus 1. Uh, so uh, we already have f of x drawn out for us which is very nice. That's x squared. Uh, so let's draw f of x plus 4. Uh, so this is a translation of plus 4 in the y direction. So it's going to take our turning point and move it from 0, 0 up to 0, 4. So the graph should look something like this. Uh, so let's just label that f of x plus 4. So if we move on to f of x plus 1 with the plus 1 inside the brackets, if you remember, if we have f of x plus a, what this does is it shifts the graph by a in the negative x direction. Uh, so if a is 1, then a in the negative x direction is minus 1. So the whole graph moves left by 1. Uh, so that takes our turning point and it moves it from 0, 0 to uh, minus 1, 0. So the whole graph then should look like this. Okay, so let's just label that as f of x plus 1. So if we move on to example 2, uh, we have reflections this time. So let f of x equal x squared minus 3x. Sketch on the same axes the graphs of f of x, f of minus x, and minus f of x. Now, as you can see, we've got the graph of f of x already, so that's very nice. So let's draw f of minus x first. So if you remember, uh, f of minus x takes all the positive x values, makes them negative, and it takes all the negative x values, makes them positive. Uh, so that is a reflection in the y-axis. Uh, so if we uh, reflect this graph, let's do it uh, by bit by bit. So uh, this point here, this root here, is already on the y-axis, so that will stay where it is. Uh, but this root here is at the point uh, 3, 0. Uh, so then that will become the point minus 3, 0. Uh, so if we draw the graph, it will look something like this. Okay, so now we can move on to minus f of x. So for minus f of x, this essentially takes all the positive y values, turns them negative. And it takes all the negative y values and it turns them positive. So this is a reflection in the x axis. Uh, so the easiest way to draw this is by taking the turning point, which is here. Uh, so that is at this point or this line here and we'll go just beyond negative two. So uh, we go along the same line on the x axis and just beyond two on the y axis. So our turning point will be roughly here. Uh, and now we just draw the curve uh, reflected as best we can. So it'll look something like that. Uh, so let's label that as minus f of x and of course we can label the other one that we've drawn as f of minus x. Uh, so that's all there is to this question. Now understanding graph transformations is an important skill so if you'd like to get some more practice in preparation for your exam then you can have a go at our online exam uh, and you'll find loads of different questions uh, all of which you'll get instant feedback on so you can keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. So if you're interested you can have a go at the exam now and click the link below.